Hello Divination and welcome. This is part two of our tutorial on how to recreate the color filters, effects and blend mode examples with Divi. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how you manage to create this. Okay, so we're going to continue on from where we left in part one. So right now I have my visual builder open and I am going to add a brand new section. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button and then I'm just gonna click on regular and close this for now. Next, we're going to add our background image for the section. So I'm gonna come over here to this gear icon to access my section settings. Okay, so next click on background and then go to this third tab. Click the plus button to add our image and the image we're gonna choose is right here. So I'm gonna click on it and click on upload image. Okay, so now my image is in the background. Next, I need to add some parallax, so I'm gonna come over here and make sure two true parallax is set. Next, we're going to go into the design tab, click on spacing, and uh, we need to remove the padding on this section. So I'm going to add zero pixels all around. And then after you've done that, go ahead and save. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is to go into the row settings. So as you can see here, I don't have access to my row settings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this button here for expand settings, and then I am going to go into my wireframe view. So now I can add my row. So I'm just gonna add a single row for now, and then I'm gonna go into the row settings. So now I can click this gear icon to access my row settings. Now, if you wanna go back and see what you're designing, you can always come over here to our desktop view and that should take you back into the, the view. Right, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come over here to design, click on sizing, and then I'm gonna make sure that this is set to full width. And then over here on use custom width, I'm gonna set this to percentage and make this 100%. Now I'm gonna come back over here and add my background color. So I'm gonna click this plus button and I'm gonna paste my color in here. Okay, so now we have everything in place, but we're not done yet because we need to add some padding. So I'm gonna go back into the design tab, click on spacing, and I am going to add padding of 288 to the top and 288 to the bottom like that. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to increase this, you can increase this uh, depending on the size of your monitor. But for now, I'm just gonna leave this at 288. Uh, but if I need to make, an, uh, to make any adjustments, I will just always come back in here and make those adjustments. Okay, so next it's time to go into the filters and make some adjustments there. So first of all, I'm gonna click on filters. And then for the hue, I'm gonna set this to 208. And then for the saturation, I'm gonna bring this down all the way to zero, like that. And then over here on invert, I'm gonna drag this all the way to 100%. And then finally, we are going to add an exclusion blend mode. So I'm gonna come over here to blend mode and select exclusion. So now we can see that um, this is now been applied. Now I have these uh, white lines here, they're really annoying, so I might as well fix that now. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and I'm just gonna add a zero padding to the top and the bottom. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then next, I'm going to add my logo. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, search for my image module, click upload. And then I'm gonna select my logo from here and click on upload an image. So next, I'm, going to, I'm just gonna make sure that this is centered. So I'm gonna come over here to alignment and center my logo. So now we can see that uh, we have this style on this logo and it's showing what's behind, which is the mountains and a bit of that color. Okay, so we're done with that. Next, let's move on to our final design. So I'm gonna click this plus button here to add a brand new section and this is going to be a regular section. Click on single row for now and then I'm gonna close Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm going to paste my basic styles from my previous section design. So I'm gonna come over here to my wireframe mode, click on, right click on the section, and then I'm going to click on copy style, right click here, and I'm gonna paste the style. 
So now the style that I used before is now applied to my new section. So let's come over here and take a look. Okay, so next let's go ahead and change this background image. So I'm gonna come over here to my section settings, click on background, and then I am going to delete this and add my image. So this is the image that I'll be using. I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image. So let's go ahead and save. So now it's time to edit my row. So I'm gonna start off by uh, splitting this row into two columns like that. And then I'm gonna go into the row settings, click on background and on column one background, I'm going to add white as the background like that. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then I'm gonna go back into my row settings. And this time I'm gonna go into design, sizing, and we're gonna make this row full width. And then I'm gonna come over here to use custom width. We're gonna change this to percentage. And I'm gonna drag this all the way to 100 because we want this to really fill that whole width. Next, I'm gonna come over here to gutter width and I am going to set this to one. And then here, make sure equalize column heights is selected. Next, I'm gonna come over here to spacing and I'm going to make sure that uh, there's no padding. So I've added zero to all my sides. And then for column one padding, I'm gonna make sure that 40 at the top, right, bottom and left. Next, we're gonna come over here to the filters and change the blend mode to screen. I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna go ahead and save. Next, we need to add our text module. So I'm gonna click this plus button here and search for my text module. And then I'm gonna paste my text in here like that. And then what you need to do is to set this as a heading. So I'm gonna come over here because right now currently it's on paragraph. So I'm gonna click this drop down and set this to heading two like that. Now it's time to customize the text. So I'm gonna come over here to design, click on heading text, and then make sure you select heading two. And then here for the font, I am going to choose Leto, select it. And then here, we're gonna make sure that it's set to heavy on the font weight, because we, we want this to be really bold. Right, so next we're gonna come over here to our text size and we're going to set this to 9VW. Next, we're gonna come over here to the letter spacing and we're gonna set this to minus 0.2. But instead of pixels, we're gonna set this to EM. Okay, so now that we've added all our text elements, I'm going to go ahead and save, and then let's take a look at our design so far. Okay, so we can see now that we have this large text, and it is showing what it, uh, what's in the background, which is awesome. So next, we are going to add an image to this part of the column. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, search for my image module, select it, and then for my image URL, I'm gonna click upload an image, and then I'm gonna select my image right here, click upload an image. So now we have our image here. So next let's go on to our design settings. So I'm gonna click on design, sizing, and the first thing we're gonna do here is to force full width. So I'm gonna set that to yes. Next I'm gonna come over here to my filters and set my saturation to zero. And then I'm gonna come over here to my brightness and set this to 113. And my contrast, I'm gonna bump that up to about 173. So here the brightness simply adjusts the, how bright the colors should be and the contrast controls how distinct light and dark areas should be. So if you increase the percentage of the contrast, it will make the light areas lighter and the dark areas darker. So pretty much this is our final design. I'm gonna come over here and save. Now, if your text is way too big, you can always come over here and adjust your text and make sure that you have the design that you need. So I think mine is fine at 8VW, so I'm gonna go ahead and save and I am going to exit my visual builder. Right, so I'm just gonna save the page for now and then I'm gonna click on exit visual builder and then let's take a look at our design. Okay, so there's the first one that we did in our part two, and then if I scroll down, this is the effect that we managed to achieve with our design. 
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.